6.30 a.m. at the Jomo Kenyatta International Airport. A nation in waiting. And one step at a time. The man of the moment disembarks from Kenya Airways flight KQ-117 to stamp his authority as Kenya's president barely 48 hours after delegating power to his deputy William Ruto, who was at hand to welcome him back. A guard of honor mounted by the Kenya army at hand to welcome its commander-in-chief. then treated to song and dance by various groups. <laughs> then the president later received briefs from his deputy and heads of security chiefs before meeting several cabinet secretaries and politicians for an update on events at home. <laughs> Kenyatta then addressed hundreds of supporters who turned out at the Jomo Kenyatta International Airport to welcome him home. <laughs> The president's procession snaked its way through Mombasa Road, the city cabanas, onto Altering Road before joining Jago Road. Cheering crowds lined up the roads to welcome the president waving the Kenyan flag and chanting his name amid songs proclaiming his innocence. His security detail had a difficult time managing the surging crowds who often obstructed his motorcade as he made several stopovers to address the public. <laughs> From Jogo Road, the president's convoy went through Landis Road onto Haile Selassie Avenue, where crowds are waiting in jubilation. The entourage later made a triumphant entry to Harambe House where ecstatic supporters and curious Wananchi went into a frenzy on his arrival. And so the president is back in the country and family in charge as the head of state just days after handing over power temporarily to Deputy President William Ruto to travel for the status conference in his individual capacity. The focus now is on the trial chamber which is expected to announce its outcome in three weeks' time on whether the case will be dropped, adjourned or referred to the Assembly of State Parties for a decision if the government is found culpable of non-compliance. Richard Kegoy, K24 Evening Edition.